Hello my lovelies, welcome to May. So you know that this is a favorite video and I've got some beverage here to help put me through and um yeah let's just get started. I don't have a lot this time around because most of my April was spent working on my shop launch. So if you didn't know about it, I um made a lot of new stickers and launched them in my shop there's around 15 new stickers so i feel like that's quite a lot i've been working through it from the beginning of this year but as i was launching it in mid april there was a lot of last minute things that i wanted to do so in the end half of my april was mostly on um, working on new products and the launch and then the late half of the month i was restocking and just and shipping your orders um, thank you for all your support I've been quite overwhelmed because this time around there was quite a bit of um, orders so that makes me really happy so if you ordered from my little shop thank you um, yeah so there's not gonna be a lot of favorites this time around because I didn't journal as much as I usually do but there's still a few things that I love even if I didn't journal that much so I figured because you guys really like this favorite series I'll just do a quick one for you today so let's just get started the first thing that I have for you is this stamps from JNL and this is their slow living collection it's quite tiny when you compare it to their usual uh, stamps like that's the baby's breath and this is part of in the wild and it's really cute but what I'm really obsessed about like with all JNL um, stamps they have really great detail that you can really see even though they're tiny so okay, I'll just grab a spare piece of paper and grab my favorite ink show you guys see can you see the details it's like, and it has a really nice texture as well okay, I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see so there's like a really dotted texture but also look at all these details on the thinner like stamp side like any JNL stamps have really you know I always rave about details and on JNL stamps but you know see it's why I really love it it's because like the details show up so beautifully I don't think that it's just my ink pad I'll try it with another ink pad just so I can show you guys just want you to see how much details this stamp actually has and I'm obsessed. So even with another stamp, it still retains a lot of the details. I think that's just me stamping kind of like irregularly, but yeah, look at all those details. It's amazing. Oh, I've used this on this. This is JNL on this page and even on what is this like tissue paper you can tell look how the details like really come through really love that about this so that's my first favorites I'm actually looking to slowly maybe buy in a few version a few other designs on this um, collection because yeah I'm really obsessed with the details and this one with a book and this one with um, what else? There's a vase, there's a book, and then something else. But that looks really nice, and I really like it. So that's my first favorite. My second favorite is this lovely letterpress um, labels from Journal Pages. So this one is a they're pretty thick but still flexible so if you put it in your journal it's it won't really like bulk it up so it's nice and has a nice texture as well I don't know if you can see it 
and I also like that the color is a bit more off-white than just white because there it is. this is my white paper it's a bit off-white and yeah I've been really liking this one and also let me get that this one I'm really obsessed about isn't the design just gorgeous and is this one of those Oeda I think this is with Oeda letterpress and the ink of it is slightly more kind of like a little bit shiny but not really metallic so it has a very nice texture and I just really love it I haven't used it much but I'm planning to use it a lot because look at that that's just so beautiful and this um, paper color is even more creamier than this so it's like beige cream color kind of and I just really love that very excited about them. Very excited about using them as well. And you can also see that I've used that in here. And it's just, I don't know, it's just perfectly vintage. And I'm, I really like these music notes, even though I'm really bad at music. But yeah, I've been really loving those as well. Also, another thing I've been really loving is this round penny fade date stamp. I've been looking at this for a while and I even they're quite a bit pricey. I even got an, like something from AliExpress just to see if I like it. But this is like I don't use it use this too much. But ever since I got it, I've been using this quite a lot. It's just I don't know. Like getting the original stuff is always more it's something about it, like it's more well made and it stamps better for some reason. I'll stamp it for you. See how pretty it is? It looks like one of those like, you know, locks in a safe. Somehow that reminds me of that. And you also get this really cute tiny, can you? really cute tiny arrow that you can use to say the date oops it's the arrow meant to kind of like point to the date but you know, I'm a fail but yeah that's that I'm gonna put it closer so you can see it I don't know, I don't know something with it I really like I don't know what though have two versions of the font the other one is more like um, serif font but somehow I really like this like rectangular one because it just the whole circle just fits nicely and I don't know it reminds me of those safe um, numbers that you kind of like move around. I don't know why it's just random fact so yeah that's another thing I've been loving this month and the last one on the list is I don't know, I don't even know if I mentioned mention this because this is my own products but I've been really proud and loving them so I'm just gonna you know introduce you to them anyway I'm not gonna introduce you to all of them I'll link up the video where I take you through the shop updates and stuff but I've got like three different um, stickers that I've been really loving so the first one is a window sticker. This, this I have been really loving. I actually did two whole, did two whole spreads, which kind of look nearly the same. But I just, I just wanted to use it because it's just, it just look, oh, it just looks unique, and it just, I don't know how to explain it. Look, used it on that. That looks really pretty and I've also used it on another one very recent uh, come on and that one I really want to do a peon lady looking at her garden so that what that's what happened <laughs> no I just used it a few uh, spreads ago but I really love how this turns out with all the little meow leaves and everything and that I used my uh, penny fay there as well. I mean, it doesn't have to. You don't have to use it for dates, even as like a, even like an accent. 
it looks pretty as well so yeah that that's my um, window sticker so I've been really obsessed with this and when I posted them in my Instagram it seems like a lot of people are really liking them really liking them as well so I thought I'll include it in this and another thing I've been really using a lot is my this white cutout stickers I really love how it's white and it just looks really nice against kind of like colored pages and lots lots of my journal are colored pages so I have them on really random places just because I really like the look of it and I've been like, kind of putting them everywhere that I can it's kind of an obsession now I think I even put some in the earlier pages just because I was obsessed where is it like over there and I don't know I, I like adding things even though that's like a really old spread like over there as well and another thing I've been really liking is this kind of another lettering sticker but this one is on kind of like black and gray and I don't know something about the texture on it this really looks really nice let me see I've, been, I've used it on here so I really like seeing it on that because it's a bit more subtle it's not black black but it still has like a little bit of a greedy texture I don't know if you can see it properly but yeah I really like it and also on that by the time I do a flip through, you guys probably already seen this journal a few times. That one as well. So that's the one that uses the quote. It's just harder. Yeah. So I really like the look of that. In, on vellum, it's really cool. But on other like textured pages, because most of my pages are quite like you know colorful. So I think having those on top really is really nice. So yeah, there isn't a lot this time, I know. But hopefully next month there's going to be a few more. But you know what? I've been really liking this stuff anyway. So I'm not really, really mad that this is a smaller collection. I mean, smaller favorites collection. Because I mean, you know, as long as you you like it and you're happy about it, then that's what's important, right? And that's that looks so small compared to my usual like you know spread of favorites. Just gonna arrange it so you can see that. But yes, that's it for today. Thank you so much for staying with me, even though this is a bit of a shorter one, and I'll put up links down below for all this and for my shop update if you're interested in that if this is a bit too small for you you can always just binge on my other like older favorites there's a lot there's a there's a lot of products in there if you want to discover something new the playlist will be linked in the end of the video but apart from that i hope you're staying safe taking care and keeping creative and I will see you on the next one. See ya, bye bye!